Hi, I'm Hervé Jeanne. Welcome to a new string presentation on the String Metrics channel. Today I am presenting the set of strings uh, by Pirastro called Perpetual. This is what the packaging looks like. And uh, yeah, Perpetual is a metal string, a steel, chrome steel string with a rope core. And um, as most of you know, the market for this type of string has been dominated since many, many years by uh, the famous uh, Tomastic Spirocore string. So that's the other big uh, brand of strings for, for bass players. And um, until now, in the uh, Pirastro catalog, there was only one type of string that was a little bit similar to Spirocore. It was the Pirastro Jazzer. So now it was really exciting for all the jazz and pizzicato players to um, hear the news that Pirastro was um, presenting a new set of strings of that type. So um, I'm going to talk about all this later. Uh, first, I want to play a couple of notes, a couple of phrases, and I will also, um, after recording the phrases on these strings, I'm going to change the string of the bass and tomorrow I will um, play the, some of the phrases again with spiral chorus strings and I will edit the video in a way that you can hear directly the difference. So let's start. beginning of a tune by Scott Mulvihill, a great bass player and singer. Check him out if you don't know him yet. My personal opinion and comments about these strings. So the first thing that you might ask is uh, if Pirastro already had a set of strings of this type in the program, um, which was the Pirastro Jazzer set, uh, why did they do this set? What's the difference? Well, in my opinion, the Jazzer set by Pirastro uh, was a very modern sounding set. It had a very singing sustain, uh, many high frequencies in the sound and uh, a lot of growl. And um, yeah, so that's more kind of a modern approach to a bass sound. And now in the last decades, I would say that many players uh, wished to have a sound that was uh, more acoustic which really doesn't sound too too metallic too electric but still they want to have the qualities of a metal string which is this this really nice growl you can really uh, form the sound in the sustain with the vibrato. You, you can have the string like coming up again in the in the sustain. And I, th I think this is the reason why many players love metal strings that you can really form the sound in the sustain, and the sound is kind of pushing in the sustain. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but this is the way I would describe it. Yes, yeah, so as I said, the, the Jazzer set had a more modern approach and now the per per Perpetual set has a, I would say, more acoustic approach in some way. Um, my feeling when I put the strings on the bass was the, that the bass kind of 
came alive. The strings have a, an airy sound, an open sound. Uh, they have a very nice mids and low mids, so you have a kind of a fundamental sound. And the, the high mids are not too pronounced. That is some, sometimes a thing with, with metal strings that, that you will have a lot of high mids which are cutting through in the sound, which, which, which in a way helps you to, to be heard better, but that's not everybody's taste. So these strings don't focus on the upper mids. And the next thing, and the next thing that uh, these strings give you is a, is a nice bouncy feel. Um, of course, these are not gut strings. If you run really the old school bounce, you will, you will probably want to have gut strings or something in between metal and, and gut, like synthetic strings. I would say synthetic strings and, and gut strings have a little more pronounced attack phase. I think there is a bigger difference between the attack and the, and the sustain uh, of the string. And metal strings have a little more compressed sound, I would say, so so that you really hear the, the sustain better. I will talk more about all these things in an upcoming video, so general informations on uh, the differences between metal, synthetic and gut strings. Okay, um, so now let's go to the AB comparison. So I'm starting with a jazzy phrase. So we're now two days later, after the recordings with the Perpetuals, I directly changed the string on the bass and I put on the Sparrowcore lights and today I also put on a dark red t-shirt, so if you see the dark t-shirt you'll know it's the Sparrowcores. some walking. And now some arco. So my personal conclusion after doing this little comparative test would be first in terms of uh, playing playing comfort the um, both strings the the perpetuals and the spiral coral lights are very very similar they have a similar tension and also the same kind of diameter of strings now in terms of sound they are also very similar I would say the little difference would be that the perpetuals are a little bit more round sounding, kind of more elegant, whereas the spiral chords are somehow, they have frequencies that are more cutting through. They, you could say they sound more powerful, but uh, maybe you want, if you prefer a more elegant sound, a more round and warm sound, then you would prefer the perpetuals. I'm careful with the adjectives because both sets of strings are really wonderful and it's just a matter of taste which one uh, would be the best for you.
That's it for today. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, that would help me very much in my YouTube ranking. And uh, if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, please do that. One more thing, if this video or the string metrics on my personal website helped you find the right strings for you, how about a little tip? You can uh, go to the Ko-fi link and give me a little tip for my work. Thank you very much. I'm, I have plenty of ideas for new videos coming up. So stay tuned and uh, see you again very soon. Bye bye. And to finish off, I will play a couple of notes with the microphone that I've been using on the former uh, string presentation videos, the AT4041. I'm really sorry about this mess with uh, some uh, videos being recorded on the one and on the, or on the other mic, also on my string metrics. I have some files recorded on the AT4041 and others on the ATM35. But for the future, I will try to record everything on the AT. M35. Uh, okay, so let's hear the AT4041. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. You can compare all these strings on my website on the real string metrics. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.